to quickly find information within a planner group is pretty simple when we use labels. So let's go ahead and jump right to it. So planner is a great application to kind of manage all of your tasks and put everything in order. And today we're going to just talk briefly about this group by labels. If you notice here, I have multiple labels established within my planner environment. You can see them represented here by different colors. Now they may be different types of labels, whatever it is, um, just understand what the label is and then you can sort your information accordingly and see all of the tasks assigned to that label specifically. Now there's one gotcha that you need to be aware of. First of all, when you go to my tasks, there is no group by label. And the reason why is because there is no label per se in the my tasks area. It's really very specific only to the plan that you're looking at. So I can group by label here and see nothing, right? But if I wanted to see a label, I could just add a label, let's just say pink, and I can say now that moves over into pink. Now let's say that I wanna add a new label here and I wanna rename this label to urgent. Well, I can use urgent already because it's one of my progress indicators. So I wouldn't wanna do that. But let's say that I wanna use it as a CC dashboard. All right, so that may be the commander's dashboard as an example here. And I wanna add a task to that dashboard. Let's say here, we wanna add this one. So we're just gonna click on there. We're gonna say add label. Notice now it says CC dashboard. We just hit go and now we're done. Now that label will automatically appear here, always under CC dashboard. So I could take it now, group this by label and see exactly what's being reported on CC dashboard. This happens to be some automation that's built to use Power BI to show a graphic representation of everything that has this label. So labels have great flexibility. Let's say that you don't have a label and you want to adjust one within right here within the task. You can just click on label and let's say you want to use the yellow label. You can now change that to whatever you want. Let's just say we're going to change it to Mike. So you usually wouldn't use an individual's name, for example, but let's say this was the name of a project. So we just put in Mike and you notice that it changed there. Pretty easy stuff using labels. We can also take and filter these labels by things that are due late, for example, here I just wanna see the labels that come up on the CC dashboard that happen to be late. So I just go to my filter, I click on late, I make sure I'm sorting by labels, and there I am. Now I could also accomplish that by sorting, grouping by due date, and then looking down through all the tasks. But if I did that, let's do that for example here, we're just gonna say by due date, now notice that they're all mixed together, right? So I have my CC dashboard. I have all these other tasks mixed in there. It's just a lot easier when I sort it by label, see what's late or this week. I can sort it by priority, who it's assigned to, etc. Pretty simple stuff. I hope you leverage labels within your work. It will make life a lot easier.